And the other dream, uh, typical grim one from my twisted mind, um, somebody was being executed in the electric chair. But when the electrocutioner threw the switch, instead of the otherwise inevitable result, a huge white circle of flames appeared up in the sky. We were now suddenly outside somewhere. There were many people staring up at it. The circle, which may have been miles in diameter, it was impossible to tell, not knowing how far away from our viewpoint it was, gave the impression of flames, and yet we knew somehow it was actually electricity surging around. It was proving to be very hazardous to be close to it, and aeroplanes were carefully avoiding it. In the end, somebody, I didn't see who it was, found a way to switch it off. And that switched off the dream as well, but my thoughts on this one. Uh, this again appears to be more for the masses rather than the individual. The creation of the gigantic electrical ring from, from the act of human revenge, for that is all the death penalty achieves, as said after his retirement by the UK's most famous and prolific hangman, Albert Pierpoint having in his career dispatched over 600 people, recalls to mind the old adage, adage sow the wind and re reap the whirlwind, oh God, reap the whirlwind, can't read my own writing, and could well symbolise the overwhelming results of mankind's continued misdeeds on earth. The final switching off perhaps signifies that all that is is coming to an end. To quote Ed of the Earth Goddess in Das Rheingold, the introductory evening to Wagner's epic ring cycle, appropriately enough. And that's the end of that. Uh, again, young man, thank you for the definitions. Those are fun. Yes, and I studied a lot of Wagner myself. And uh, Wagner's operas are based on uh, different areas of consciousness and uh, recognition, realization. And uh, yeah, there's a book. Uh, by Helene Colleen called The Esoteric Music of Richard Wagner. And you probably get that on Amazon. I've seen it there. Uh, I studied that 30, 40 years ago. And uh, it, it's just a lot of fun to see these things, uh, the, the symbolism, the, the poetry, the, the parables that are all in this. And that, I would say, kind of aligns with your first experience. And, yes, yeah, somebody's throwing the switch uh and it's the death penalty isn't it and as you're seeing it for mankind because uh etc cetera, etc cetera. but uh then again someone's throwing off the switch too so you know it could be us we'll see or it's agreement what have you but uh yeah they got the big switch uh just like they got the button and they can push a button and nuclear weapons go off everywhere it's very very real it's the death star whatever like in star wars uh, where they destroyed the planet. And so uh, this is just what they do. This is where we are. We're on planet Earth. And it, there's, again, there's no La La Land here. And little by little, you're seeing it. So we are, uh, you know, we're able to start preparing ourselves for this, to be able to face it, because it's about awareness. Everybody else, basically, they're going to panic and they're going to give in, just like the mask thing with the fake virus and all this so uh yeah everybody's having experiences and if they'll listen and learn it's there and it, it's a lot it's more than a college course but uh you know some people are listening that's that's all we can do thank you thank you peter that's a lot of fun thank you and thank thank you and actually you did before recommend that book and i have got a copy of it thanks to you thanks very much and it is fascinating